I have a helpful tool that I'd like to introduce to you that will help you with spelling some words while you're writing. So we've been working on snap words and you've been practicing learning how to spell some words in a snap. And so I'd like to be able to use those words in writing workshop. Now there's some that you practice and you might remember. So you might come to the word and while you're writing and be like, oh my gosh, I practiced that one, I know it. A-N-D spells and. Great. There might be some, like you might come to the word, let's say the word could or can when you're writing and you say, I, I practice that word can. I know I practice it. It starts with a C. I just can't remember it. Well, if you have it written down somewhere in your book where you can look in your writing workshop folder, where you can look at it and see, then you can just turn to this paper and you'll look, oh, here's C. So I'm gonna look for the C is. Up, oh, I know it can start to the C. And then you could have it written right there to help you. So here's what I was thinking. That you can take the snap words that you've already practiced and write them on your word wall. Okay, so you can see the first thing it says up here. It says blanks personal word wall. A word wall is just kind of like a wall, but this is a paper that has words on it for you to look at to see how to spell. So you'll put your name here. So I can put my name there and I'll show you. I'll do Becky. So put your name there. Becky's personal word wall. And now to get all the letters of the alphabet, it's actually two pages. So you'll put your name on both sides, okay? And then you're going to go through and any of the words that you've already practiced, you're going to write on these lines. Like say you practiced the word and, you're going to put that here, okay? Say you practiced the word like, you'll find L and you'll put like right in here, okay? So any of the words that you have practiced so far, I want you to add to your personal word wall. And then each week, when you practice some new words, I'd like you to add them to your word wall. So here's what it might look like. If I practice the word and, I would add and to my word wall. If I practice the word at, I would add at, okay? If I practice be, the word be, I mean. Like I want to be a magician, that kind of be. Put that there. Can, maybe I practice can. Okay. So any words that you have practiced, I want you to add to that list. Now, when you're writing along, let's pretend I'm writing a story. Let's see. If I write Silas and I, I'm gonna talk it out first. Remember, say it, then write. Silas and, I, oh, Silas and I went on a bike ride. Silas and, oh, there's the word and right there. Okay, I can look at it and make sure that that's spelled correctly. Now, the other way that you can use this, so you can use it when you're writing your words. Oh, I don't remember how to spell that word. I'm gonna look it up and see how to spell it. I know it's a snap word, I'm gonna look for it. The other way to use this is to say, at the end of writing your page, you can go back, you can look at your page of writing and see if there's any snap words in there. Okay, so if I wrote Silas and I went on a bike ride. Okay, ooh, on, that could be a snap word. I'd look in my book to see how to spell on or and, whatever the words in my sentence or on my page that I practice at snap words, I'm gonna wanna go back to my word wall and look at to make sure that I spelled them correctly. So I'm gonna do a little editing and double checking of my spelling. Does that make sense? So let's review that. There's two ways to use your word wall. The first way is when you're first writing out your words, okay? And you come to a word that you know was a snap word for you and you just can't quite remember how to spell it. Okay, so you're going to look for the letter it starts with on your personal word wall, okay? Find that word, and that'll help you to spell it. 
That's way number one. Way number two to use your personal word wall is at the end, after you finish writing a page, you're going to look through and see if there's any words in your writing that were snap words, words that you were like, mm, yep, I know how to spell this, and so you spelled it in your writing. Go back, double check those words using your word wall. Okay, if you had the word the in your writing and you're like, I know how to spell the, and you wrote it out, well, at the end, I want you to look in here. If it was one of your snap words, find the, and just double check to make sure you spelled it the same way that it is in your, in your word wall book. Okay, does that make sense? So two ways to use your personal word wall. So you might have to do a little work today and um, you might have to look back and remember the words that you practiced when you're doing snap words or get out the list if you still have your list and record those words on this word wall. Okay, and this will be a really helpful tool. tool. What you could do is you could punch holes, if you have a hole punch, you could put holes here, and you know how there's that section in the middle of your writing workshop book where we have the alphabet chart and we have your heart map? You could stick it right in there, so you'll always have it when it's time for writing. Okay, I'll be curious to hear whether the word wall feels like a useful tool or not. I think that they're really useful and can really help us with some words, but I'll be curious to hear what you think. Okay, everyone, go ahead, give it a try. Your magic word for today is, hmm, let's see, your magic word for today is hail. I, there's been some hail in the weather in the past week, so I'm going to say hail. Okay. Have a great writing session.